Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about half pens versus full pens. Which do you use? Depending on the palette that I'm using, I may use either half pens or full pens or both. So for example, with this palette, this is the Portable Painter palette. This palette can only be used with half pens, so I cannot fit full pens. Palettes like this, this is the Cotman Sketcher Box can only be used with half pens as well but there are variations of the Winston Newton box like this particular box it can fit a mixture of half pens and full pens if you have a 12 half pen metal box that looks something like this you can use full pens in them as well just swap out the two half pens and replace them with a full pen a box like this can hold up to six full pens in some boxes, you can fit pens within the rows, but for this particular box, the row here, it's a bit too small for me to fit additional pens. One of the advantages of using half pens like this is because they are so small, they are more portable compared to full pens. Actually, both are still very portable, very compact. Just that, for example, with this box like this, you can actually fit 24 half pens because of the size of the pens or you can fit 12 full pens. This is the Winston Newton Deluxe Sketcher Box. Now with a box like this, you can only fill 12 half pens, but this box is more compact compared to this box here. If you really want to, you can find those um, small metal box. This is a Winston Newton Bijou Box, or sometimes they may call it the Whiskey Painter Box. You can squeeze 12 half pens inside this box and this is even more compact compared to this sketcher box here. But the downside is the mixing area is quite limited. There are actually more advantages to using full pens like this compared to half pens. First of all, full pens, they are much larger. They hold more paint so you don't have to refill them as often. When I go overseas for short trips, I would bring half pen sets like this but for longer trips I would bring full pen sets like this because the paint they last much longer. This full pen has a capacity of about 4 ml a worth of two pins so that is quite a lot of paint to paint with. Another advantage of full pens is because they are much larger you can use larger brushes with them and with larger brushes like this, for example, a flat brush or maybe a large squirrel brush, you can load more paint very quickly because you can fit the whole brush into the pen to soak up the water and the paint. And this allows you to work on larger pieces of painting easily. With half pens like this, they are more difficult to use with big brushes. So you have to use smaller brushes and smaller brushes, they yeah, capacity is not as big compared to large brushes so for painting large paintings or creating large washers you have to reload the small brush a few times another advantage of large pens is with a brush like this this is a size 6 watercolor brush i can pick up the paint at an angle like this with smaller pens i find that i have a tendency to tilt the brush more vertically like this and pick up my paint and this actually would damage the point of the hair. I have brushes where the hair are actually uh, damaged because I keep picking the paint like this but for larger pens you can afford uh, to pick up pens with the brush on the side and this also helps uh, load more paint into the brush as well. This is one of my first few watercolor brushes and the hair is really worn out. It can no longer keep a sharp point like this. And that's because I, um, as a beginner, I have the mistake of um, digging the paint from the pens. So don't do this, don't damage your brush. Try to load the paint from the side of the brush whenever possible. Having a palette box that can mix half pens and full pens is quite convenient because with some colors, they have very strong tinting strength. You just need to use a tiny bit of the paint and you can 
create a large wash with them. For example, uh, Phthalo Blue, Queen of Crydon Red, Queen of Crydon Magenta, those are very strong colors. You just need a tiny bit of paint to create large washes. And because of that, you can squeeze them into half pans and it will be fine. But for other colors that do not have um, high tinting strength, you need more paint and those colors are more suitable for use in full pans, relatively speaking. But of course, if you want to paint big, if you want to use big brushes, using full pans is the more appropriate choice. So that's all for today's video. I would love to hear from you about your experience with half pans or full pans. Let me know which one you prefer and which one you use more often. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful. See you in the next one. Bye.